You know, as a connoisseur of first-person shooters, I'm always wanting something new, something different, something that'll deliver a new experience to help keep me engaged. Especially now more than ever. I mean, have you seen this space lately? It's dry as hell. Well, today's game wasn't made with millions of dollars, it wasn't made by a giant studio, and it isn't even made in the AAA space. Today's game is releasing sometime in quarter four of 2024 and is made with some good old tender love and care by one person. So get ready to slow down time and maneuver like Max Payne as we talk about out of action. And if you enjoy what you see today, be sure to sub to the channel. I would deeply appreciate it. Okay, let's continue. So out of action is touted on Steam as an action heavy multiplayer and single player first person shooter set in a brutal cyberpunk universe. This game features things like fluid movement, a substantial selection of weapons, attachments, augments, and devices. Hell, there's even gore and dismemberment all set in a dark 90s anime aesthetic, all running on the power of Unreal Engine 4. And if you're about as curious as I am as to why Doku, the mastermind behind Out of Action, didn't jump to UE5, I asked him on Twitter, and this is what he said. I have no need for the new features, and preliminary tests resulted in lower performance in UE5. Well. There you have it. Let's go ahead and dive in and talk a little bit about some of the things the game has to offer. Right out the gate, I'm just gonna let y'all know that my game sense in this video is gonna be that of a newborn giraffe, okay? After testing out the mechanics, different builds, different weapons, I can confidently say that if this game ever gets a ranking system, Make sure you add biodegradable as the lowest tier and stick me in that bitch. And yes, I did say different builds. There's many different combinations you can use to body the bots in the demo and eventually other players you'll run into. The biggest component is going to be something Doku labeled as a shell. What is it? Well, here's an example. Do you want to be a speed demon who is more fragile than a communion wafer but prefers to be camouflaged? Well. Ghost is the perfect shell for you. Do you prefer a build where you can roll slower than an 18-wheeler going up a mountain but can somehow stomach bullets like bodybuilder stomach protein? You're looking for the rhino shell. Do you just want to say fuck it and cosplay as Buzz Lightyear soaring through the halls? Well, Dragon is going to help you out quite nicely. And there's like a couple more, but you pretty much get the gist of what the shells do, right? Now, while a lot of these things are pretty simple to understand, I want to touch on some unique aspects of the game, or at least in my opinion the ammo types, and the perks. You're gonna see this in the gameplay later, but with the ammo, there are different types that'll affect the enemies differently. For example, piercing ammo gains penetration, so their defense bar ain't gonna mean a whole lot at the end of the day. There's also shred ammo that not only increases limb damage, but bleed damage as well, and personally, I think that this is the most beneficial ammo choice right outside piercing ammo, but it's gonna be all about what you're wanting out of your class. Moving to perks, depending on which ones you choose, they're ultimately going to affect your build. Like, if you choose low profile, your speed will significantly increase while your vitals will decrease, so you've really gotta weigh the pros and cons of using certain perks. And thank god they tell you right on the perk or else... <laughs> Good luck. Now, like I briefly mentioned, I do have some gameplay that I want to show y'all real quick, but if you don't care, I understand. And if you want to hear my final thoughts, skip to the time code on screen. But most importantly, sit back, relax, grab a sandwich, and let's get on with it. All right, so this is out of action made by Doku Games. Right now, there's some information on screen that kind of like goes over like what the cores are, what defense and vitals are, you know, stuff like that. So it looks like the max AI we can have is up to eight. The threat level goes from passive all the way up to machine. You know, we'll do human and we'll do like four. All right, demo loadout testing. Okay, so we got the shell. Honestly, I might do Rhino because he's got 100 vitals, 250 defense. I mean, look at those stats, dude. Throwing knives. A sword? Deflect project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now nah, the sword. Pistols. Got a PDW sawed off revolver. We're slinging big iron in this bitch. Primaries, we've got a shotgun, SMG, assault rifle, bolt action. Um, I might go SMG. So what I like about the perks so far, right, is that they have buffs and they also have nerfs. Like augmented arms, for example. Increases melee strength, throw strength, reduces recoil, and reduces spread gain. But the downside is that it can be disabled. Oh, okay, so whenever you select different perks, it looks like your base stats get affected. Let me do this. So, like, I added auxiliary vitals. And now my vitals have gone up. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Okay, so there's no sprint. There we go. That took way too many goddamn bullets. Okay. Oh my god. Get me out of here. 
<laughs> Dude, I suck ass at this. Oh my god. Grenade! Hey. Oh shit, okay, so middle mouse button actually allows you to have uh, wall hacks. That's cool. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh shit. Oh! Mm. Oh. Oh, dude, I know for a fact that this is gonna just get abused to no end. I will say that, like, the FPS controller is really smooth. Like, it just, like, the movement feels really, really nice. Like, is it a little weird that you can't run? Kinda. You know, mostly because, like, there's not a lot of FPS games that don't allow you to run. But honestly, like, the sliding, the barrel rolls, you know, all this other stuff, like, it just, it... It feels nice. It kind of feels like a nice little substitute because like, I mean, people just sprint, stop, sprint, stop, sprint, stop. So, I mean, I guess this isn't much different from that. I love that. I remember seeing a clip of like Doku hitting this one guy after doing the, uh, the jump. And I just love that aspect about this game. Where... Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. You know, I kind of feel like I'm Max Payne a little bit. Like, with all the movement and stuff, it just... I really like this. Mmm, bitch. <laughs> okay, I, I fucking suck so bad with this sniper. Oh my god. Yep, I'm out. Psych, I'm back, bitch. <laughs> I'm so fucking bad, dude. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. So, uh, yeah, Doku. Uh, let me know when you get that biodegradable rank in the game. Alright, thanks, bud. For my final thoughts, what can I say that hasn't been said by my other fellow creator colleagues, right? The game is fun, it's exciting, it's unique, and I think it's going to maintain a fair-sized player base of dedicated players. Just to rapid fire on a few things that I like here, I do like the aesthetic of this game. This cyberpunk 90s anime look is a unique one that I don't think gets explored enough in the first person shooter space. The class system is also pretty good, definitely something that is going to require some time invested into understanding the perks, the shells, and what works together with what, and especially when it comes to the weapons. One thing that I'll add here, and it's not anything bad, you know, but it's just a little weird that sprint isn't an option in this game. Like I mentioned in the gameplay, there aren't a lot of games out there that take away your ability to sprint because it's a common feature in every first person shooter. But I genuinely do believe that the current mechanics have a valid place in this game and can easily overtake the fact that there's no sprint option. And even though there's only one map and a limited amount of weapons, it's still something that you can sink your teeth into. I mean, hell, I might go back and try to do the bolt action tricks like I did in my gameplay. The only thing that I do have to ask you, Doku, is this. What kind of fucking smelling salts were these bots huffing? I put it to one and all of a sudden, it's like I'm facing eight different John Wicks. They have no sense of danger whatsoever. And the only key they're holding is W and the only thing they want to see is a skull next to your name in the kill feed. Jokes aside, I can't wait to see what this game is going to do once it gets fully released. Doku is doing some earth shattering shit in this space considering that he's the only one working on this game and I hope it propels them to a whole new level of success. But now I turn the mic to you. Let me know down below what you think about Out of Action. And while you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button and dive on that sub button to all so YouTube can show you my content free of charge. And if you feel like supporting the channel, I have memberships starting out at 99 cents a month. I wanna give a huge shout out to the current members of the channel. Y'all are helping me turn this nice little dream into a reality every single day. This is Sir Blackout signing off to learn how to move more effectively. My ass is out here looking like a drunk fly soaring through the maps. Ah, uh, later!